What is up, guys? Welcome to week 21 of Roleplay Solemn. My name is JP McDaniel, one of the members here of Roleplay Solemn. Joined by the rest of the cast, although we're a little bit late, we're all here. It's time to find out what we've been up to. Neil, I'm going to have to go straight to you first with that awesome shirt of yours. Wherever oh, this? did you it's get that? It's something I picked up in a dumpster somewhere. I don't know wow. If out. Wow. No, this is actually one of the most comfortable, like, context of the shirt aside, the fabric of the shirt is really soft and cozy, and I actually just, it's really nice to wear. I've you know, who cares about what's on Jeff, it? Don't what buy he's the trying shirt to say is he wears your shirt to sleep. It's a comfortable sleep. fucking shirt, guys. <laughs> he you wears wear your inside sh- out. It's he just made the constant advertisement even better somehow. I didn't think it was possible. Because, like, no, I see it every day, but now I even have, like, an additional information about it that makes it even greater. Whatever. I, I got this shirt for free. Anna gave it to me, and I would just wear it all the time. My girlfriend wears it to bed because it's so comfortable. It's a cozy damn shirt. She wears an in-control shirt to bed. <laughs> no, it, it kind of hurts me sometimes when I see her wearing the shirt. Well. Or, oh, okay. She's just wearing my shirt. She's taking you to bed, though, right? Ba da ba ba da ba. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've been playing a lot of Divinity: Original Sin, and I think Good it's game. my new favorite game <coughs> in the entire world. It's how beautiful. far are you? I'm not very far. I spent like seven hours trying to complete the first. Are you like, still on Sisal? No, no, I'm on my way out to go find someone on a beach somewhere. Okay. What level yeah. are you? Four. I should just ask that. Okay. Yeah. Four. Yeah, no, I spent like seven hours walking around town trying to solve a quest. And then it turns out I had to just, you know, do this thing, which I was trying not to do because I thought it would be... I was trying to role play my characters really hardcore, lawful good. And I was like, no, I don't want to do this. And anyway, it's a, it's really comfortable. It's, a good uh, game. it's good. I like it. It's my new favorite game. I've been playing it a lot. Just came out, right? It feels like D&D. Uh, well, it's been in early access for nine months, but it like the official, I guess, retail release was on Monday, yeah. Yeah. It's really, really good. Uh, there's a lot of dialogue. I'll just sit and read everything and get really there's, into it. There's things. actually, for my taste, there's actually too much dialogue. <laughs> like, You're not uh, a dialogue yeah. guy, though, if I remember correctly. Like, right, JP? Don't you skip that shit usually? Uh, well, if we're, it depends. Where, if we're playing an MMO, I will not read a fucking letter of any dialogue whatsoever. Uh, but in these games, like... It is one of the the main, well, not the mm. main, but it is one of the better parts of the games. So, yeah, it's the pretty cool. Writing is phenomenal. Yeah, I have it's not pretty seen funny. writing in the, a game this good in forever, and it's hilarious. Yeah, it is so good. There's a, a zombie named Rob. Like, there's so many puns everywhere. Everything yeah, did is. Did you a pun. find Rob getting hit by I the found zombie? Rob zombie. Okay, Rob Zombie. I know he yeah, was I like I saw the combat log, but I, we were up in the me and Maggie were up in the graveyard last night. I couldn't find him after that. Are you playing co-op or single player? I was playing single player. Then I brought in one of my people from chat to play co-op with me. And then he started backseat gaming and like, oh, well, you need to go here to get this quest thing. So th- fuck that. I'm single playering the rest there of go. it. There you Chucky, go. Chucky, no more. I can't take it. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's all I got going for me. Shots fired. <laughs> cool. Let's uh, go around the, the circle here. Next up is Jeff. What's going on with you? What's up, man? I was uh, just in, s- well, man and lady, Jen, and everybody else. Men, everybody, boys, friends, boys and friends, girls, acquaintances, peers, dogs, everybody. cats. I like yeah, m- more the dogs than the cats. Yeah, yes. screw the cats. They don't care anyways. Um, I was just in uh, Orange County filming commercial with uh, well, videos with HyperX, and then I leave for Red Bull Battlegrounds in Atlanta, uh, in eight days. So very busy. Today we ordered tickets for the Seahawk games. I'm going to uh, the Green Bay game. I'm going to the Bronco game now because my brother's taking me to that one. The St. Louis game at the end of the season, and then the 49er game all in Seattle. So Ooh, those that are, probably those goes over good. a lot of people's heads. No, those are pretty good choices. Yes. I'm are you, super are you going to the fun. season opener? That's the Green Bay game. That's the yeah. Green Bay game? Okay. Most expensive game of the season. Some of the tickets for, uh, and I, I'm not quite on this eSport level yet, guys, but some of the tickets for the 49er games were $8,000. <laughs> Is that, for, is that for like fifty yard line or some shit? Yeah, the nicest seats, but yeah. eight fucking thousand dollars. I that's pretty nuts. Yeah, so it, it's crazy, but that's that's part of what happens when you. I mean, Seattle sells out their stadiums, but when you win the Super Bowl, you know it's it's insane. Yeah, uh, I remember last year actually, I bought tickets to the Forty Nine er game for, I want to say like three hundred bucks, but the day before the game, people were buying them for twenty five hundred, and it was close. We like flew up there, and I was like, "Guys, <laughs> we could make some money here." I, guys. I'm like, "I kind of want to sell these for you know ten thousand dollars, and we can just hang out at home and watch the game." <laughs> you could have. Uh, I might. 
if it if it actually works out that way, I might actually have to do that. We'll see. Uh, outside of that, um, just been streaming and playing. I'm gonna go play some Warhammer tomorrow. Got my barbed hair tool next to me. So, uh, to give people an idea of how much I love Warhammer, it's literally sitting next to me so that I can just touch it and look at it sometimes. And I'm not talking about my wiener. It's just it's a barbed hair tool. <laughs> I like looking at it. Can you show it to us? I did. Just, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't looking. Boop. It's always That's here. What I call my wiener the the barbed hair tool. <laughs> And then, uh, because we don't want to be too Shut positive, a couple of things. Yeah, Ryan, just let me talk. <laughs> all right? Good. Ryan, a little I'm bit trying to please. make some wiener jokes, all right? I thought that's what this group was about. Ryan, I mean... I feel like you guys have lost your way. Maybe you do like you, but we as a whole... <laughs> <laughs> if we were to... I'm just well, kidding. I'm going to talk about wieners in my opening, so go ahead and continue. <laughs> all right. Well, only two things. Uh... My computer has so this is relevant to us. If I if I just like my my stuff freezes, I'll be back in fifteen <coughs> twenty seconds. Starting today, I've been having this issue. I've searched for malware, searched for viruses. I'm not sure what it is. It's not hard drive or it's not hardware because it went away. But some combination of when I'm playing a stream, a video, and I'm on Skype or something in there, my computer freezes. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. So if that happens, I apologize. I just streamed for five hours, and it didn't happen once, but before that, it happened three times, so I'm working on it. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, and then the other negative thing to address real quick, uh, I do read YouTube comments, so <laughs> some of you guys, you guys out there, you guys out there, come on. I mean, this on. week was pretty good, Jeff. I don't know. <laughs> this is the worst week we've ever had, my God. Uh, I enjoyed reading this. I got yeah, some, I got some, uh, some almonds, got a nice drink, sat down. I don't know, last night and read through each episode. You I know? like that people get so into it and care so much that they get that active. <laughs> yeah. Again, to throw out there, guys, we are all friends. <laughs> uh, I am pushy, sure, but we've dealt with the drama in the past. We're fine. We're good. Keep it in the game. If you don't like Victorian <laughs> as being bossy, if you don't think kicking someone in the face is good, hate the player. Not well, no. No, hate, hate, the, hate the character. Hate the character, <coughs> character not the player. I didn't kick Jen because I wanted to kill her or something. I kicked her because <laughs> she was clawing at me like a, a a shiny zombie, and that's what my character did. I didn't even see those comments. I just saw all the yeah, comments calling Jen like the dumbest person on earth, and I was just like, "Well, I mean, I she guess must there's be that." Well playing her eighth intelligence really well. Yeah, <laughs> the big the biggest one was like, I kicked Jen, and they talked about how. Uh, how dumb it was to break the glasses and how maybe Neil was cheating because we got too many good stuff, so he had them break the glasses. I, I like that. I That was actually me on my alt account. I want to see what people thought of that. Then there was a lot of people attacking you for not sharing more information. Like It, it, it got, it got cl clawy in there. So guys, just tone it down. Make sure like if something really upsets you, just try not to target it at the people too much because at the end of the day, you are watching a D&D &D show. Yeah. Also, so. if we were mad at each other, we probably wouldn't yeah, we probably play with show. each other for a year and a half. Yeah. See what it looks like when we're mad at each other. Yeah. yeah. We probably wouldn't invite each other to like our houses to hang out and stuff. Like there's a standing invitation from Wait, about everyone you invite here to them to your house, else. Neil? I've got an invitation from Ryan to come hang out with him. I've got an invitation from you to hang out with you. I've been to Jeff's house. Jen doesn't invite me to anything. Um, well, I mean, she's French-Canadian, so it doesn't matter. France, See? So. There we go. I, I rescind. <laughs> All right, Tariq, you're, this sword's normal, too. Yeah. <laughs> he won't remember anyway. Just tell him it is, right? Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Cool. Uh, keep going around the horn here. Ryan, uh, I'm interested to hear what you have to say about penises. Yeah, me too. Okay, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. It's going to be <laughs> the last uh, thing I say. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But what I have been mostly spending my time on since we last met what is trying to build a new PC and I've been like Did you make a decision yet? Pretty much, yeah. I've got all the parts that I want to oh, get. Oh, so you're not going to wait. No, no, no. I'm just I'm just going to order. I'm not going to wait and get the the 8 core yeah uh, gear in September. Okay. Cuz I don't know when that DDR4 is coming out and all that. I mean, it could be sick, but I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. Um so but yeah, you learned been, a lot, I, right? That's that's the important thing. You learned what, what you're buying, right? I did, yes. You're not I, buying I, a fucking uh, motherboard because it has Fatality's face on it. You actually know what you're buying. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm paying the extra 300 for that, but that's yeah. a, it'll be inside my computer. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah, I've been I've been doing that. Uh, that's the main thing. Been playing games. Um, okay, so let's get to the penises. All Please. right, so this is we're gonna play a game. Okay. And like I I I I don't think I've had many experiences like this, but okay, we're gonna play a game, and it's called Creepy or Not Creepy. And I invite all of you guys and chat and even YouTube to weigh in on this. All right. So uh, this this is something that happened last night, and it's a very like brief encounter. It happened last night between uh, me and Caitlin, right? Okay. So you you know the deal with Caitlin, right? We always penises. I like where this is going. Right. We always tease her about uh, Milady, right? Yeah. Uh, so last night I was scrolling through uh, Reddit. Wait, I know where you're going. I saw this picture. Did you see it? I, okay. I told her about this, too, and I was laughing so hard. Yeah, what did okay, you say? Okay, so, so I was like, hey, Caitlin, I saw a, a, a GIF, and it reminded me of you, but it's not <laughs> safe for work, so I didn't link it to you. And then she goes, please link it. And then I did, and then she said nothing to me, like no response, <laughs> no nothing. So and this like, is – so is she, is she scarred or like well, what's the picture? I, it's Okay, so it, here's, yeah. here's what the GIF is. It's – it's like a dong, and it like it's a flaccid tips, penis. It like t- tips a fedora somehow. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's a flaccid and penis that has the skin pull, pulled up it. with a small fedora oh. at the tip, <laughs> and then he uh, gets hard and like the penis grows and it's sped up, and then the <laughs> the uh, fedora like tips over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me tell is you. Is this an animated penis cool. or is this a? No, this is real. This it is real. real. <laughs> it's a real dick. Ryan, I'm so and glad. It, and then it just says "milady" and it just keeps this looping. This is my over humor in a over. nutshell. Like I, I fire, I shotgun out so many jokes that every once in a while, one of the jokes just lands really poorly, and the people just the worst thing they can do <laughs> is zero response. Like yeah. there's been, right. I can't remember. I came so back from you, something. You linked it, okay, right? So I linked it. She said, oh. I said, it's not safe for work, and she goes, link it, and I did, and then what? boom. No I wonder response. if we actually Nothing. did this at the same time, because you linked it. I described it without linking it, <laughs> and she didn't respond either. <laughs> she probably thought we were fucking with her, but yeah. we, we have no communication. She's weighing options right now. She's talking to the players. She doesn't know what she, she has to do. You know, you guys <laughs> get sexually assaulted. <laughs> oh, my so God. So this happened last night, like... And I I don't know what the deal was, but oh, someone funny. just linked it to me, and I really wish they had. <laughs> what? Oh, it's not it that description. What did you expect to happen? A good? I didn't know. I didn't. It was just a <laughs> link in a chat that I'm in, hanging out in. It just link it was coincidental. Okay, well, that's pretty funny. Oh God. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I laughed really hard. If you're prepared for it, it's one thing, but when you're not prepared for it, it's another I, thing. I was ingr- well, I, I just I, laughed. Wait, 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 wait. You guys didn't say it comes out of the fucking dick. Yeah, yeah, no, his skin is like covering it. <laughs> it comes out of it, yeah. It's yeah that's just that's... <laughs> Dude, imagine like having, like seeing that in real life. Like. I just, I'd just i fucking applaud. I would straight up just start clapping. That's Dude, impressive as hell, man. With does that? That's insane. That's impressive as hell. <laughs> what group of friends are we with that, where one guy's like, check the spot, <laughs> pants, and a fedora pops out of the guy's dick? <laughs> uh, you know, I could imagine. Let me let me think through it, through the Rolodex not, here. My friends won't do that. Yeah, no. Oh, you know, God. I could imagine uh, Ryan Moore doing that. Maybe. Yep. Think so? Yeah. I told you guys. I mean, maybe, maybe if Kim Rom has enough to drink, he might do Kim it. You never Rom. know. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you never know. No, I, I couldn't see myself doing that in real life, but I could definitely see myself linking it to people, which I did. <laughs> last night. No, it actually is creepy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's super creepy. All right. So creepy. You it sounds like the verdict. I'm going to wait out. for YouTube because YouTube loves me. They're going to all say not creepy. Yeah. I, faith. I agree. <laughs> I agree with YouTube's. Okay, I closed the dick thing. There you okay. go. Right. You gave a warning. She said link it anyway. Not creepy. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Neil's on my the side. The warning wasn't the description. It was just uh, I saw something that reminded me. <laughs> it's not much of a warning. That's well, a little bit know. weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might uh, be the creepy part. The gift's not I, that creepy. Uh, no, it didn't say remind. I said, I said I found something hilarious to send you, not yeah. remind me of you. That's, That's still not, not a warning, I, bro. Sorry. It's no, and then I said it's, not, it's in SFW. It w- that oh, was the warning. Okay. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. That's a solid okay, warning. Okay, that's not creepy. Yeah, yeah. That's not creepy. Because it's still got the fedora and the milady, right? Which is the the crux of your sending it, which yeah. she would understand. Yes, yes. There you go. Unless she like... thinks it's a picture of your. Uh, if you've done that yourself, <laughs> she may think it's creepy. No, it wasn't. 
No, it was... <laughs> the connotation, by the way, of this If had my donger got uploaded to the front page of Reddit, like, I'd be proud of it, but it wasn't <laughs> mine. The connotation of I was thinking of you and then you send a picture, though, is more of a romantic thing. <laughs> you both are taken, so it's obviously not like I that. I say but... I was thinking of you. I, if I said <laughs> he said, I, I was thinking of you, heart, heart, wink. And that's heart, what he said. <laughs> this is... Oh, no, it was just the, uh, this makes me think of you, or whatever you said, this reminds me of you, like that. No, that's wasn't. where it gets a little bit closer to creepy. I yeah. like how ambiguous it is, though. It's 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 debatable. It's yeah. close either way. All right. Exactly. Just to be safe, I'll call that's you a my, creeper, though. I that's told, probably I the told best. You, I'd bring it back to the dongers, and I feel like I did it. And you did it. Good job. Match. I'm proud of you, Ryan. Thank you. Ryan. Proud of you. You're just draw dicks. You link them to girls. Your hundred yeah. words. <laughs> Not even animated ones. Real ones. Yeah, real ones. Ads. Your hundred words of show, Ryan, is now fulfilled. We'll talk to you next week. Perfect. Yeah, right. I, I'm just gonna shut off my cam and uh, go like walk my dog or something. No, no, just leave your cam on, but we won't even realize that you're not there. It's okay. okay. Go just let me know dog. when it comes time to sell my magical sword, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Last but not least, well played, Jen. What are you up to? Uh, actually, been working a lot lately. <laughs> well, I mean, I always work, but I've been working more and harder because I had like a deadline, which I obviously cannot talk about once again, but. Good stuff coming up. <laughs> that rainbow ink in the six itself, you know what I mean? Yep, got to do it. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Last weekend, it was cool. I went back to my hometown and saw like my two best girlfriends growing up and realized how lucky I was to have like actual girlfriends that played video games with me every weekend. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, I don't know. I just went to see them. And shout out to them if they watch because they might check it out now to just make fun of me. So. Hi, Tulia and Valérie. <laughs> That's it. Cool. Uh, Neil, I think we were on a boat. You guys are on a boat. Did we get on the boat? You guys are about to get on a boat. Okay. You are in hey, Whistleport. Ordered. Are you ordered? And if you go to the map now, it's just automatically centered around where you guys are. Isn't that a cool feature I've added? Uh, well, and did by you me, actually I mean add the that? developer. Yeah. yeah, exactly. The developer who does this for me. Exactly. What Wait, city are we back? Because it didn't do that for me at all. Just go to regalgoblins.com slash maps.php. Whoa, don't, and it's you just centered. crashed it. The site's crashed. Also, that's, Jeff that's just fine. froze. That's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about also, it. Also, Jeff just froze for like oh, 15 it, seconds. It so created a DDoS on Jeff. It's just no, very Jeff's steady. Back. That was just a Is freeze. that me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is weird. So, okay, we, we opened up the map port. and what? Oh, Whistleport. Thank you. Yeah, Whistleport. Yep. Oh, cool. That doesn't work. Is it just frozen for me right now? Who? Jeff. Uh, I no, can't. Jeff just does, that's not. His oh, my camera's camera. not even on. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Anyways, all right. So we're at Whistleport. We're getting on the horse or the boat. We're you're getting on the ship. Are right. Are we bringing the horses with us? Yes, I think you guys negotiated <laughs> the price for the horses as well. Did I negotiated it? I paid for it. I paid. Yeah. Yeah, 140 gold for everything. Yeah. With my amazing bargaining skills of just paying more than he ever asked for. Hey, that's how you get shit done in the real world. Autumn. Yep. Autumn. Um, yep. All right, cool. We're on the boat. We're going. Okay. In. Um, Where are we yeah, sailing so to? You guys are going. We're Windhaus? planning on sailing all the way down to past Windhaus to North and Bell? stopping off at the ford between oh, Lara right. and uh, Fallon. Yeah. Yep. And then taking the road down towards Lake Tasia and then taking the road down through the elven, the, the former elven lands across the river through the ruins of Necros and so on and so forth. Yep. Yeah. And so, so we I'm set off on our like, journey. Don't we want to go east yeah, though? Yeah, but you guys opted to take the very long way around east because it was safer. My God. Instead of just going across the open plains. It's true. There were hill people there, remember? There are hill folk. I know. They said they were crazy. Super ambiguous, Neil. If you go, if you go through the, the ground, there's hill people that'll just kill everything. If you go by Whoops. the water, there's terrible monsters. Or you could take the long way back into Verasi territory. And I'm like, all right. This DM wants us to do something, but it sounds like all of it's to die. Can't tell. <laughs> I'm, I, but I'm not trying. I don't want you to do anything. I want you to go east. You How you the get helicopter. there is your choice. That's your decision to make. This is not a, right. a. We're not playing Half Life here. You have more than one option to take. This Wait, is more this like isn't Half Life? 
We're not playing Half-Life Half 3. 3. I'm fucking it's out. like playing The I'm Sims. Done. I'm gone. Yeah, I know. I wish this was Half-Life 3. It'd be great. God damn it. So All right. the whole time we're on the ship, I'm going to be standing in the middle being like... <laughs> Every day? Why? Because I don't like water and I don't know how to swim. Oh, okay. Seems For like me, rock, on the would. ship, I will be avoiding the captain because I'm salty about the way our negotiations went down. <laughs> it's really yeah. easy to avoid him because he has no interest in talking to you whatsoever. Are you approaching Perfect. me? Perfect. Oh, wait. No, you me pissed neither. the captain off. Yeah. That's right. He pissed me off. Okay. Uh, so do we just want to jump to it? Because you said, uh, I think the deal was to hop in the boat on the next morn. So is that where we're going to go to? Uh, yeah. We're just going to fast forward to the next morning. Unless there's anything you guys want to do in Whistleport before you take off. <coughs> no. I don't really. think so. Let me take a look at my character sheet. Yeah, let's see. Um, you know, I want to, uh, I want to make an engineering check at the boat and make sure we're on a good boat. <laughs> okay. Do you have the engineering non-weapon proficiency? <coughs> yes. You know he does. Give me an engineering roll, JP. Okay. <clears throat> You're going to like this one, Neil. This is a D20 plus 19. Close. 25. You survey the boat. You look under it. You look on top of it. You look in the hold. You know, you check the, the boards everywhere. You're like, you know what? This looks solid. I feel this boat is capable of floating us down up the river these guys are going up river do i notice any uh like sign like signature wood carving or like anything that makes this boat stand out amongst other boats anything special or unique to this specific boat um this is one of the largest ships not a boat okay. um docked here at whistleport it has 30 rowers on either side of it. So it's a fairly large ship. Um, and since we're going upriver, you need a lot of rowers to propel you upriver. There is a mast, but there's no the, the sails are currently not down. I don't know the nautical term for that. Um, not down sounds good to me. Half yeah. mast? No, no, that's a flag. I do appreciate the dick joke, though. I try. Um... And the captain, is, he has a shiny uh, copper-colored beard that looks like it's been dyed with some sort of something somewhere along the so way. So there's, there's nothing that I, in my uh, proficiency check, can determine from looking at this boat that would make, that would impress the captain by my knowledge of the boat, of the ship, excuse me. Do you have any seafaring or any proficiencies that are related to ocean travel? Not at all. Not at all? Nope. Uh, you can make some comments about fine craftsmanship yep. and, you know, sturdy this, look at this thing here, it's well built. <laughs> like, you know, you can make some general engineering chats about it. Okay. Towards him. All right. That's all I no. wanted to know. Yeah, yeah. He, he appreciates that your appreciation of his ship. Perfect. Um, and unless there's anything you guys want to do to Whistleport, you guys are going to sail upriver to the south. I think that's what we do. Okay, um, cool. So the ship's quite large is what you said, right? Yes. Uh, there are... Uh, let's see, there's the captain, his first mate, a few deckhands, uh, the drummer, and there yeah. are 30, 30, 90 rowers that work in shifts. And that's it? Because I think it was just supposed to be us and them, right? Yep. Yeah, there's no that's one else. Uh, there's some other small bits of cargo on the ship that seem to be independent to you guys that you know they're, they're transporting anyway but. sure yeah okay i just do the usual thing like just checking on carla checking on the crew or not the crew uh, our crew i guess our group and yeah pacing the deck and that kind of thing uh carla quickly gets led down to a, a room below where she can hide with the child um you do note that carla seems She's definitely not the same person you guys left your home with. Um, she's changed a lot in her demeanor and her fears. Uh, she's not the same Carla that departed Foghaven. These days, she's a little bit more... Um, well, Victorian notes that. None of us. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't note this at all. I guess Victorian is the only person left from Foghaven. Yep. So, Victorian, you notice that she she's definitely changed a lot, and she seems to be 
kind of more on the skittish side and more on the ruthless side. Uh, where okay. once she would try and sneak by things, now she's more content with you murdering anything in their path. Um, that's about it. So you guys head south along the river, <coughs> and let's roll for encounters. Cue the Pokemon music. <laughs> okay. Um, your first about week on the river is pretty uneventful. You quickly pass Shile, Trill, all these places. Uh, once you're past Dropor, you know, like uh, six days later, you guys are sailing along the, the river. It's, you know, lovely fields to either side of you. No one in sight. The river's pretty wide here. Uh, I want to say it's like... I don't know, 300 feet wide. You know, the length of a football field, an American football field. Mm -hmm. so, um, the only football field. Yep. Well, as opposed to Canadian football fields. I think they're a little yeah, bit. Teasing. Okay. They also only have three downs. What the hell? Is Canadian football like. It's American recognized? football, but with. Yeah, in Canada. Wait, but they're popular. Trash Johnson is in California. Yeah. Anyway, um, you're floating down this section of river which looks pretty nice and you know there, there's not much going on here when up ahead you guys notice that there is a very large chain that has been strung across the river um, well the captain notices this and calls it out and deckhands spring to action and you guys are alerted as well he pulls out a spyglass and hands it over to the closest pc to him who is d4 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 Three. Who's the third the one? Uh, to Tariq. Hands it to Tariq, uh -oh. being like, look at that. Okay. And then uh, realizes it's Tariq and kind of <laughs> stops <laughs> the I still snag the spyglass and look. What do I see? You see this large, this chain just across the river. Um, on either side, it is connected to a large tree. Oh, shit. I didn't message. I guess I'll just keep spells How, from like, the last Okay, time. so let's just say, hypothetically, we keep going. Wh what would the chain hit? Like our masts? The ship. No, okay. no, no. It would hit like the base of the ship. The base of the ship. All right. Yeah. I, I hand the spyglass back and I say, I, I would recommend anchors away. Don't my tell friend. me how to sail my ship. <laughs> Landlubber scallywagon son of a bitch. Well, there's a chain and we are approaching. No the shit. Tears will hit it. And he calls out, you know, he starts cursing and cussing at his sailors and, you know, insulting their mothers and their grandmothers and their grandmothers before that. And the rowers pretty quickly, like, stop. And then you notice the oars start reversing and the ship slows down to a point where it's just kind of listing on the river. And then it starts to, like, go with the current a little bit uh, back down river towards the north. Captain, yeah. do you see anybody else that, uh, I mean, the chain is, it belongs to somebody. Can you scan the shore? He's looking all around with it. And then he goes, <gasps> shit, bugbears. Uh and you guys see on either side of the river, there are about 20 bugbears on either side. So 40-ish ballpark. We fought these before. Yeah. I think it was um, previous. And they <laughs> are coming, charging out of little, like, they had little hidey holes along the, the shore where they would, like, duck down and put some grass and shit over them and hide below. And Smart. someone gave some, some sort of signal that you guys didn't see. They popped out, and they start coming towards you. Uh, about half of them are armed with crossbows and the other half uh, are pretty much naked except for the maces that they carry i'm sorry uh long swords they carry all right so i was looking up spells from last time because i forgot what i messaged you and i didn't message you prior to that 40 bugbears on each side of the river with bows and arrows some with bows yep. and arrows no, not Roughly 40. Is, is it 40? 20 each, no? 20 on either side. And there's yeah. a chain across the river? Yeah, blocking your forward how, path. How thick is this chain? Can I make an engineering proficiency to see what the weak point is? You can't see the chain without the spyglass. I mean, you can barely see the chain without the spyglass. Well, I... Okay. If he says how thick is the chain, how thick did <laughs> I think it was? He didn't say how thick is the chain. I, I look at the captain. I say, may I see the spyglass, sir? I can... He tosses it to you while he walks about uh, pulling out his saber and yelling orders at people. Okay. I look at the, the chain through the spyglass. 
Do you want me to make a proficiency check? I I want you to, yes, make me a proficiency check. Okay. An engineering proficiency check. 33. Um, the chain is fairly thick. Uh, what what are you trying to discern with this? What the, Where the weak point is, or where the, the weakest point on the chain is. <clears throat> Give me a perception check as well. See how well I can see it? Yeah. Crushed. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck you, JP. Um, you're looking back and forth across this chain. And it looks like the weakest point is probably where it attaches to the tree. How far away is it? Uh, the chain is no, 100 the chain yards. Where it's attached to the tree. Well, the chain is 100 yards in front of you guys. And then you're kind of more or less in the middle of the river. So then... 50 yards to the side, and then the tree is Gotta you take know, the high pot meat inland. That. So, through my engineering check, can I deduce how far it is? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's 100 on one side and 53 on the other side. Someone math that for us. A squared you? plus B squared. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Is that even what it is? Yeah. I just glass over further. Yeah. <laughs> just like. Oh god! Those numbers sound like more. It's like than that gif three. of uh, the Star Trek gif where the guy's zooming in on his head and he's fucking just exploding. <laughs> Someone, come on, chat. I'm doing it for you here. It's 111 yards from your current location. Okay. Uh, 111.8. Is the water moving fast? Is the current quick? The current is not. I mean, it, it's <clears throat> it's not that quick. So. Can I deduce, and I don't know how I would do this, maybe an intelligence check, that if I were to break that chain free from the tree, that the water current would carry the chain off to the other side and uh, allow us passage? I mean, if it broke off from the tree, it would just, like, flop into the yeah. water. It's a chain. It would just fall into the water. Okay, and nothing. the water wouldn't carry it? like. <clears throat> uh, I mean, it would sink into the river. One way or the other, you could definitely walk, pass through. The water would eventually push it down river, but it's a pretty heavy chain, so okay. you doubt that it would get, it would flow down river very quickly. All right, I look at the captain. I say, Captain, how long until we're fifty yards or fifty feet, excuse me, away from that chain, right over there? And I point to the the chain connected to the tree. Uh, turns his head, and goes, "What do you say?" <clears throat> that really tree. Sorry, right now. that tree over there, Captain. How far away are we from that? Or, you know, sorry, how long will it take to get 50 feet from that? This is important. I must know. I could I could get us through this. You can break the chain? I look at Victorian as he says that. And I, I kind of like, my eyes kind of get big. To see he can break it, Captain. We'll just need to buy him time. <laughs> Forward, men! And he starts yelling at his people and cursing and... You know, uh, and the drummer changes his drum beat again, and now everyone's paddling and rowing forward. Um, but the are they in the open deck? The the paddlers or are they below? No, their no they're below out? Decks. Okay. Yeah. Um, but the bugbears, the the bugbears with swords, have reached the water's edge and have are now diving into the water and swimming across towards the ship. Meanwhile, the crossbowers uh, have their crossbows aimed and cocked, and we're going to roll initiative. Um, although I don't know if it matters because I don't think there's anything you guys can do to hit them from here. As this is happening, uh, before we're we doing initiative, by the way. Okay. I go over to uh, Spades and I shake her and I say, Spades, we need you now more than ever before. Help us out. What do you want me to do? Kill things. <clears throat> ah, easy. I got this. I like tap on his shoulder, take out my big axe, and I'm like, heh. <laughs> All right, Tariq, you rolled a six. The party goes first. Perfect. I just run up to the... Uh, no, actually, I stay in... Because I've got my plate mail on, or three-quarters plate mail. I stay towards the center. I'm just going to be, like, the fast response. So I will hold action until a bugbear is available to get poked in the face by Phallus. Okay. So upon my, uh, my weeks, or however long this journey has been, I surely would have noted at some point where entry points would be. Are there ladders hanging off of the ship? Oh, it, God, no. There's no it, clear entry point. It's all smooth wood, yeah? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll stay in the middle as well and wait. Okay. Um, we rolled a six, by the way, on, on our initiative. Yeah, we went yeah, first. Yeah, we're first. Okay. 
Sorry, I'm holding sorry. action, as it were. Uh, hold on, <laughs> JP sent me a question that I need to answer before we can continue with anything, and I need I, to look up. I can send you exactly what you sent me. I mean, I can, I can ask it here. I, I asked Neil, uh, from what you sent me, do I know if this horn will break the tree? This causes weakening of materials such as It just as says metals. weakening, though. But it also does damage. Yeah, as if caused by a hit from a missile hurled by a large catapult. I would say a missile a hurled tree. by a large catapult would break the chain or the tree. Okay. Um, pretty easily. Definitely the tree. Okay. Or, yeah. Cool. You let me know when I'm 80 feet out. Otherwise, I'm going to stay wherever I am not going to be hit by ranged attacks. I don't know where that's at. If there's okay. like a place where I can duck down and hide or what. Yeah, there's. Um, you can duck indoors. You can duck down below the uh, the the side of the forecastle. Sure. Um, to hide behind that. I'm gonna hold action. Okay, the crossbowers uh, loose their first round of crossbow quarrels at you all. Um, <coughs> who are the target you're aiming at? Uh, so, this hits a random crew member. This hits a random crew member. Those two miss. 18 plus 3 is 21. Tariq, what's your armor class? My AC is actually 18. 18. A crossbow bolt hits you, Tariq, for 6 damage. Um, no, those all miss. And Genevieve, what is your armor class? 18. And you get hit twice, Jen. You have 18 as well? Shit. Yeah. For a total of 5 damage. Also, according to the chat, Jen, you were at 31 HP. Me? Yeah, you weren't at full. Actually, we rested uh, we for a week. We just did a week of travel. That's true. Yeah. So, yeah. gain 6 HP on top of that, and then lose 5 so, of it. So, you're at plus... 32. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, three other, four of the crew members. Oh, get Ryan's hit with twenty-two pole versus missiles, actually, and drops to the ground. Ryan's twenty-two um, versus missile. Oh, where do I? Where would I see that? My chat says twenty-one, or my my. The overlay oh, says yeah, yeah. twenty-one my, versus my missile. My AC says eighteen slash twenty-one. Maybe that's. Do you have a shield on your back or something? Or I what? have a shield. Yes. Why would I have a slash, Neil? I with, with, I'm looking up his character sheet to figure that out because I don't. With the shield and without. I do remember that, and I always thought it was weird. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't know. Maybe he's, he's Tariq, whatever. Two handed mace shield. Oh, because of your. Sh oh, like the that. body shield. What? I see Tariq's armor class at. Oh, with 21 is with his shield up, 18 is without his shield. Oh, because he fights two-handed. Right, because he fights with the two-handed weapon. So if he has his shield up, then it's a, then it's a twenty-one. So arm. is it Plus feasible that I can get it up while I see bolts coming, or? Um. Oh, we already did the cloak. Sorry. So he has seventeen. You know they rolled a twenty-one total, so it doesn't matter. It hits you anyway, um, one way or the other. But sure. do you have your shield out right now, or do you have your? Well, I would on? I would say that once I start seeing arrows fly in, I'd put up the shield. However fast you let me do that is okay. Sure. Okay. You get your shield up by the end of the round. Um, uh, at the end of the round, the swimmers have because they only have to swim like fifty yards. That's not that bad. They can do that in a minute, I think. Yeah. So they they get to the boat and they uh, a couple of them throw up hooks attached to ropes. And start climbing up, but that is all that they can do. So they're swimming, and they're able to throw a hook all the way to the top of the thing. Like that's pretty like, impressive feat. I mean, treading water, only like fifteen feet off the the railing's only like fifteen feet off the water. To throw a hook while treading water, fifteen feet in the air, a bugbear can do it. Easy. Bugbears can do anything, man. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, uh, one of the PCs, one of you guys could do it, no problem. So these guys can definitely do it. Okay. okay. Um, uh, so, uh, next round for initiative. Right. Oh, so I, oh, okay. Because, uh, yeah, I held action, but I guess they didn't. 
Oh yeah, but they didn't get anywhere. Yeah, they didn't uh, get there. That's fine. Initiative from someone on the team. Ryan, please. I already rolled, man. Roll your new initiative. Yeah, do do a new one. Can't use up all the Ryan magic. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, dude, I, I can roll <laughs> sixes so often. Like, all right, I'm rolling. No one else roll. Five. Five. Hardy goes first again. Nice. Uh, I will how far away are we? Until they're available again. Uh, it looks like the next round, the boat will be close enough to the tree to do what you want to do. Okay. Okay. Um, I would like to make an action. So hooks are coming up. This is, I, I assume, a metal hook attached by a rope? Yep. Okay. Um, I'd like to go to where I heard those clings happening. And um, with one hand on my, well, as I walk, I take the shield, you know. And then I use my sword and, and cut as many ropes as possible. With your two-handed sword? Yeah. I mean, I'll put the shield away I when mean, I get there. I mean, like, the grappling hook goes over the side, and over the railing, right. so you're, like, hacking at the, right. the rail so, so, with your sword. So I, I have the shield out, I walk to the edge, mm -hmm. then I take the two-handed and... Okay. Yeah, so give me a D3 roll. That is how many ropes you can get to in this round. Uh, sorry, just One. say One what you One. rolled. I don't have that up on the stream. Okay, uh, you get you managed to cut one rope free uh, at the end by the end of the round. There are just for so you guys know there are uh, four ropes on either side of the ship. Can you hear burger burr? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. <coughs> they and he talk. falls onto a spike and dies. That's pretty cool. Burger burr. Yeah, they were at the bottom of the sea. Who would have expected that? Yeah. Okay. Um, anyone else on the turn want to take a go? On your team? Uh, want to take a go? Yeah, seeing that, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go and try to remove uh, some rope thingies. So do I do a D3 as well? Um, yes, yes. Actually, you're, you can only oh. move at half his rate, so do a D2. Because you're short. You have well, literally just give her two, then she break. maxed out the D3. Yeah. That's not worth a D2. I feel like a 3 is worth at least a 2. Roll, roll a D2. She <gasps> maxed it out. Roll a D2. If you had rolled a 2 on the D3, I would have left you with the 2. Thank you, you, Neil. Thank Perfect. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Solved. So you managed to cut off two on the same side as Ryan or the other side yeah, as Ryan? Yeah, I went on the same side. Okay, and Victorian? I am looking side to side, holding my shield up and uh, hefting phallus, you know, kind of weighing it and loosening up my muscles and that kind of thing. Just waiting, holding action. Okay. I get to attack after they get up over the railing, right? Yeah, absolutely. If you're going to hold okay. your action, you can attack them as they get here. Then that's just what I'm doing. Okay, I just want to... There we go. Oh, and okay. Ron, I guess, seeing them do this, mm -hmm. is also moving up with them to assist in getting the hooks off. On same side or opposite side? Same side. Okay. And there's only one left over there, so... Two. Yeah, well... Uh, one. One. You did two, he did yeah. one, there's four yeah. total. Yeah. There's one left. Ron so goes he just over... gets up over to it. Yeah, he gets over to the last one and hacks it off. Um, and the whales of the bugbears in the water are... Music to your ears. Bug bears. Bug bears. Time for the crossbows again. Bug bears. <laughs> uh, what is Ron's armor class, please? Let me check for you. His armor class is. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Well, uh, is fifteen? I guess. Is that correct? Oh. Zero for dex, is that right? He has, yeah, he doesn't have high dex, does he? Dex is 14. Nope, you gotta have 15 dex. And he's just got the chain mail, so 15. He should have a shield, I think. He's got a long sword, two and a sword. Uh, I guess he never had a shield either. Yeah, he hasn't done a whole lot of... <coughs> we just kind of almost died to those guards, and then that's about it. So yeah, just 15. He's got a sword. I think he should actually have a... He, yeah, he's using his longsword in two hands. He should actually have an additional plus one to damage. I don't know how that hasn't been factored in right now. Yeah, so it his... says long-handed, or longsword, excuse me, but then it says weapon proficiency is two-handed weapon. So I guess he could be right. using that for two. He, yeah, if he uses it, it uses it with two hands, he gets a uh, plus one to damage on it. So okay. it should be plus four to damage with his longsword. 
Thank you for that. Okay, so that's four. Da, 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 da. Uh, eighteen does not hit you, Jeff. Does it? No, I'm twenty-three. Yeah, eighteen misses. Tariq, uh, you took yeah. Eighteen does hit you now because you took your shield off, right? No, you have your cloak on, which gives you nineteen slash twenty-two AC. So as far as I know, it's I have base ten. Armor is seven until I get it repaired. Then it becomes nine. Plus and one from your cloak. Plus one oh. from the cloak. So I have eighteen slash twenty-one. Okay, I forgot that I your believe. armor was damaged. Yeah, it's not damaged. Okay. It's just not. It doesn't incomplete. Doesn't fit me well or whatever. Right, right. Um, so you do get hit by another crossbow bolt for five more. Okay, I love you. And Jen, we have your armor class is eighteen as well. Yeah. So this is. Uh, one of this is a. Well, these are both running. So that is 22 and 22. Oh. Shit, if that we can get one more, they're both the criticals. Um, Stop it, Neil. That's rude. <laughs> Stop it, Neil. Plus one for being a short dwarf. I, I will stop trying to crit you if you try stop trying to kill my creatures. No, nope, there's no way to get it. All right, I wave uh, the white flag. <laughs> Do they yeah, stop? We give up. She is French Canadian. <laughs> so you true. take another five damage from incoming quor- from yeah. two incoming quarrels, and that's one, two. That, that's all twenty shots from the crossbows. Um, the guys start coming up the other side, and this round about half of them can get up. They get up onto the deck and kind of form a defensive position around the the ropes. Um, kind of like, you know, shoulder to shoulder while the rest of their people get up on the ship. So they hold back for a moment. Um, J- Jeff, you can take your action now. I uh, Terminator stride over to him, but I'm going to use the length of the... I'm not going to get up against the railing. Like, I'm aware of the fact that water's a weakness for me, so I I get out to the outer reach of Phallus, and then I stab in. Make yourself a roll to hit. And... I believe it's plus eight. Five melee, uh, no, it's so it's plus ten. Yeah, plus ten. I remember that from last week. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh god, it starts again. Twenty nine. Oh my god, uh, these guys are we're naked swimmers, so they have uh, ten AC. Sure, so you damage. clear by fifteen, which is max damage, four times damage dice. Well, clear by nineteen, but yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, four times you said so. Four d six. Plus, am I at five? Sorry, I really should remember this. Victorian black. Damage. Uh, spear one handed is what you get three, four. Phallus is magical, right? Yeah. Do you know yep. how magical it is? I believe determined? it's plus two. Yeah. Plus two or greater. So three, four, five, six, plus six to damage. Thank you. I thought that was correct. So 46, Jesus. That's a pretty good roll. That's a really good roll. Six, six, five, four, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just run him through with the spear. It just pops out through one side, out the other side, and the bugbearer you know, falls limply to the <coughs> ground. Retrieve Phallus from his corpse. Boom. Um, Initiative? Initiative. At the end of this round, we will come in contact. Uh, you'll be within 80 feet of the tree. Okay. Um, uh, I've already rolled. Someone else want to roll? Jeff or Jen? Sure. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, go ahead, Jen. Okay. Two. Two. Nailed it. Uh, re-roll. Tie. Oh, Son of shit. A... Two. Two. <laughs> they go first. Damn. Oh, come on. That's lame. That's actually perfect. How is that I'm lame? I'm a fan of that. How was that lame? Really yeah, but they rolled a one. I hope you roll more. Uh, I need more dice now. Here we go. Oh god, so salty, so <laughs> salty. So much. Uh, Eighteen hits Jen for <laughs> three so damage. Not eighteen of the twenty, but I think. A roll <laughs> no, no, no. Of 18, and right? eighteen hits Jen. <laughs> A Jen, you take 400 damage. Tariq. <laughs> Tariq, you take another two uh, against Ron. Uh, 
21 crits, Ron. Single crit, right? Because it clears by 5, or is yeah. it naturally 18 plus? Give him a save versus death. Right. He takes 6 damage. That's a clear. 18, not a problem. Uh, Take takes 6 damage. Then? Yes, sir. Alright, I'll mark that down as a 3. <laughs> and again, so they can't really see Jeff because of the orcs block... Uh, not orcs. Where's blocking him? Um... So the other guys actually just have to re-aim at... Nope. Tariq. You're aiming at me or I'm attacking? They're aiming at you, but they all miss. Um, cool. Corals are flying everywhere. The guys that are on the deck now, there are uh, half of them climbing up this round, half of them are on deck. Uh, Victorian, you quickly find yourself uh, completely surrounded by these guys. You know, the, as the other people are climbing up, now that you've come up to here, they just collapse against you and around you like a wave. Just, um, and are, you're very quickly surrounded. You get two in front of you. Attack of opportunities? No, because none of them are exposing their backs to him or anyone else. <laughs> I, he was the only one. I thought if you wanted to move around me. Melee range. No, no, if you... if. So the, the concept behind an attack of opportunity is when you're sparring with someone or you're facing off with them, your defenses are off. If you go from defenses up to defenses down, you're exposing a spot where they can all of a sudden get in really quickly and get a free attack because you, you've left a weak point. So these people are, they're facing Jeff and they're turning to face him, like folding around him. If one of them were to turn and look behind himself for a moment, then he's like exposing a weak point where Jeff can take advantage of that. Gotcha. But as long hey, as they're not... What's the yeah. captain doing this whole time, by the way, too? I don't think you've been... Uh, the captain's been yelling and shouting, getting his crew to do things. Um, the row, the rowers are still rowing, but there are a couple of other guys that he's mustered that are coming up from below decks and forming up with him in the 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 format, the forecast. Right. Gotcha. Um, but there are a few sailors up there forming, kind of ducking down below the, the, the point, waiting to get all their numbers together before they make a move. Um, right. So the two right. tacks in front of you miss... There's two on your flanks. One of them is a crit fail. 16, 17, 19. Your armor class. Off the boat, without your, what's your armor class without your shield, Victorian? Uh, without my shield. One second. 23 AC is what I have. Well, that's total, but without what? shield. Wouldn't it be 22? Without your shield is uh, uh, 19. 19. Oh, it's, wow, it's yeah. plus four. Holy shit. Uh, the guy on your uh, right hand side, which is not protected by your shield, gets a hit on you with his long sword. For two damage, the guy on your left side critically fumbles, fails to save, uh, stubs his toe while he's trying to like get into a good position on like a loose board that was maybe just a little bit too high, and just like you know ruins his entire day. And he's like cursing and screaming and kicking his toe against the ground and rubbing and trying to get the right spot and misses his attack. And the two guys behind you somehow both miss you entirely. You have 17 AC from back. Wait a minute, 11, 12, 13. Do you take away decks from the back? <coughs> yeah. Then it would be 17. <coughs> It'd be, yeah, yeah. But they, I think it plus two for back attack, but they still missed. They pulled low. Uh, that is all of the bugbear's turn, party's turn. I get my two attacks, so I'll just plunge Phallus for, for a, well, I, at the end as well. But the first oh. one's just the guy in front of me. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 16. Which clears by five still, but is not a natural eighteen. So right, because uh, they're a naked ten. Yeah. Right. So is it a crit still? No, does not clear by ten. All right. D six plus six. He takes eight damage. He still stands. And I yell, "Little help here, please." Little help for Victorian. So, um, what kind of armor are these guys wearing? No. The guys that are on the yeah. deck are naked. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, yeah, I will go to attack. Penis. I assume there are some with their back to me because they're surrounding him, right? Yes. Yes, so there are I, definitely I, some with their back to you. I will stab one. Not stab. Hack one in the back. Go for it. Uh, <coughs> melee... So it's plus seven and then two more for surprise or for back attack, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Eleven. <laughs> hit. Uh, eleven's a hit. You only need to <laughs> you can roll a fucking one really? and still hit. Oh it's my god. Yeah, no, one hit. would not be a hit, it's a it's still a fail. Oh it's still one a fail. One is always a fail. Yeah. Oh, that's um, right. One is always a fail. But yeah. Are these what size are these? 
They are size large. So oh, actually, Jeff, you probably should have rolled a d8 then. Uh, do you want me to re-roll it, or do you want me to just add... Just re-roll the d8 to... instead of the d6. God damn it. <laughs> so seven. And he dies. Yeah. So I roll a 12 on this guy. Is this one of the ones behind Don't me? Don't you have a strength, uh, a damage bonus, Tariq? Um, plus, it's yeah, three, I six do. plus three, right? Yeah, plus three. You're correct. So it's a 15. Mm -hmm. It's 12. 15. That guy is still alive as well. Okay. What I want to do is see if I can somehow magically attack again. Just right <laughs> away. No. I can't yes, do it. Yes, his sword. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot about your fancy sword. Yes. I yes, attempt to attack again. Unless Ryan, I will physics... get this one. Yes, you get two attacks per round with your sword. Also, isn't the you second round, so he's getting three round. attacks? Okay. Um, that was not. That was different. That was not yeah, like attacking ropes. at an enemy. That was like hacking at ropes. Okay, I again different. attack this man from the back. It's a bugbear. This bugbear. No Wait, you didn't um, kill the bugbear for a 19. twelve damage. Nineteen Just is a hit. a hit, not a crit. Give me another three d six plus whatever. You have to roll an eighteen to crit. <laughs> Um, you slay the bugbear. Slaint. Bur he goes bugbear and he collapses on the floor. <laughs> bugbear. Perfect. Exactly like that. Is that everyone? Uh, no, no spades and spades <laughs> run. So there's two more bugbears around Victorian. Is that it? Or there are mistaken? four, five, four five left. Around. Yeah, yes. five still alive. Four yeah. more on the deck who are still guarding the uh, the four ropes. And the one that's like right next to Victorian threatening. No, no five. The, the, well, it's like five around person. Victorian plus four more who are guarding okay. the ropes, where more okay. bugbears are crawling up from. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, are they like lined up so I can? There's one that you can get a back attack on, just like Ryan did. Okay. Here, we're going to just do this very, very vaguely. I hate using tokens and maps because it reduces creativity of players. But this is very roughly how it looks. I'm not drawing the ship. Look who Spades already had this ready to go. Yeah. Victorian. Yeah, well, I, I do it sometimes just to keep track of where things are when you have we have large combat. Can you put the uh, archers as well? No, they're way off the side. They're. But, like, what direction are they from? I feel like They're on either side of the ship. The ship is going up and down. See, this is why I hate doing this stuff because it get a good mental picture. It's better for you. Well, yeah. what I yeah, would here, like to... here's the ship. There's sides of the ship. Victorians. He's probably not exactly in the middle. He's probably a little off to the right side. There. Let's streak over here. So, all the archers are 50 yards off the side of the ship on shore. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do is hit one of the bugbears, but if I could actually duck afterwards to try not to get hit by arrows, that would be my complete action wish. Um, that will give bugbears high ground attack. I mean, they'll, they'll give them a melee bonus to hit you. If you're crouched down, mm -hmm. they can just like wail on you from above. But you can do it if you want. What if I stay here and throw an axe? Go for it. And can I duck and have no high ground advantage for them since there's like nobody here? I mean, they're. You do whatever you want to do, Jen. I'm not going to. You can throw an axe and then duck behind the side of the ship if you want. Yes. I'm not going to tell you what the bugbears are going to do in response. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to throw an axe on this one if I can get a back attack on him. It seems like yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, roll the twenty plus. Yeah, just confirming. Yeah, plus two. Only plus two. No way. It's like plus, plus eight. Plus. Oh, plus six, plus two. So plus eight. Yeah. Are you level seven? No, I'm plus no. six and plus two for back attack. Yeah, you shouldn't be plus six unless you're level seven. Oh, but you have really high. No wait. What? what oh no, it's plus five for throwing axe and plus six for two handed. Okay, I got it. So it's plus seven. Yeah, there we go. Seventeen. Seventeen hit. is a hit. Yeah, and the damage is d6. Against large as well, the second number of damage? 
No, D4. Shit, I should have went for the normal axe. That sucks. Sorry. Three damage to hit. Yeah, um, And I then failed. you duck behind the thing again? Yeah, that was a bad move. It's okay. Yeah. I'll do good moves after. Don't worry, YouTube will crucify you for it. Um, yes. Ron, what are you doing? Ron just runs up and... Uh, have all these attacks been against the same one? Um, Tariq killed his, so the spades two attacks were against the same guy. Okay. Ron runs up. It's the only one that's still behind me, I guess. Yeah. And tries to shank it with his sword. He is at a... Oop, that's me. He is a... Melee adjust. Plus five. Long sword is plus one. So he's at plus six, and then damage is plus one, because he's doing two-handed. <coughs> D20 plus 6. Oh, back attack, so plus 8, I guess, right? Yeah. Jesus. Uh, three times damage dice. Damn. And it's a large, it's a long sword. Dice, yeah. So 4D12 four four plus 4. Four. Say goodnight, he says to the bugbear. Uh, the bugbear actually... doesn't even have time to say goodnight. He is decapitated in a swing of Ron's sword. So he just <coughs> swipes yeah. its head off. Uh, is that the end? Well, no, Zanzel gets to go, right? Because I get my second attack. I go at the end of the round. Okay. I get my so third I... attack. <laughs> I really do. It's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, we know. Is it my turn, Neil? To second um, attack? Um, didn't you already make your attack this round? I made no, one, but I get the second one. Remember, my the first one was the exploding round. attack. Oh, that's right. Yeah, your first attack was last round. Yeah, go ahead. You get your second attack. D20 plus 10. Still at one of the guys in front of me. There's still two in front of me, right? Or no. Yeah. Two in front of me, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll, kill, I'll poke at the one that I already poked at. Ooh, just a 13, 13. but it's still a hit. D, Is the spear D8 for large? I think I it is. I think so, yes. Wait, what so did I, you... Oh, that's right, because I did that wrong last time. So, yeah. D8 did, plus 6. Why did you roll 4D12? Because these are large creatures. Oh, you're hitting them with a long that sword? Ron. That was wrong. Oh, that was wrong. I was like, what the fuck? This one gets max damage, so that one mm. takes... The one I already poked gets another 14. Yeah, he drops to the ground. Burn, burn, burn. Um, and uh, in the round, Zanzel? third, third Ryan attack, goes third so attack. For, uh, I'll go last. Tariq. Okay, can right. I? You. This is your first round of attacking. Well, I attacked the ropes earlier. That's a it's round of combat. Same. That's, That's not, not combat. You're, you're hacking at ropes. It's not. It has to be people. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be like, it's gotta be like f uh, fighting someone where you're. Because I let you got three attacks last round, right? No, no, no. You I got one three. attack on the rope. Well, you got D three attack. No, it doesn't count. It's not the same. So only if I'm fighting people. Do okay. So yeah, this, that's that's this be my, okay. monsters or something. So right. a, a combat situation. Well. All right, yeah. Neil. It's time for twenty questions. Uh, what is the highest point on this boat? Is it the back of this place that is south on at least on this map that we're looking at? Like, I guess that would be the front of the boat because we're sailing down. Yeah, you're, you're sailing down river, right? So the front of the boat is the... Why don't I just tell you what I want to do and you tell yeah. me the best way that I could do this? So I would like to get to the highest point on the boat that is closest to the front of the boat that does not open me up to a ton of attacks from ranged attacks next round. So I want to run up, blow this horn, and then run back. So it sounds like you want to... So the forecastle, which is the raised part of the ship in front of the ship, has like a little wall around it. It's actually built to be defensible. Um, there's a, a nice wall that comes up to... If you crouch down, you can duck behind it pretty easily. So you can walk up to the, the prow of the boat with the wall on either side of you, blow your horn, and then duck down behind the wall if you need to. Are there any bugbears up there? No, there are no bugbears up there. In fact, the captain is getting his crew up there. There's the last guys coming up the ladder this round. Okay. I look at Victorian. I guess I'm somewhere here, near here where I can. Hopefully you can hear me in the heat of combat. I'm just like, I'll be right back. And I walk to the front. I pull out the horn. I say, ye shock. And I blow into it at the tree where the chain is connected. Also, tell me how many bugbears I hit because they're stunned for one round and deafened for two. And they fail. There's no bugbears in uh, the path. Okay. Do I roll damage against the, the tree? The, the tree will roll a saving throw. Um, the tree and the chain will both roll saving throws. Cone of sound, 120 feet long, 30 feet wide at the end. Just for the horn. Blah, 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 blah. A uh, wave of ultrasonic sound, one foot wide and 100 feet long issues from the horns causes the weakening of the structure. Okay, so the 
the railing and part of the ship in front of you, like in front of you and a little bit below you, just blasts to pieces and splinters all over the place. There's now you're high up, so you're not leaking water at this point, but you like blow a hole in the ship in front of you as this horn goes off, and everyone like covers their ears for a moment, going, "What the fuck is that?" Um, and the this wave just kind of like you can't see it, but shouldn't it the hit boat the have to make a roll? To see if it saves against that? You're standing, like, right next to the wood, and it's, like, thin railing wood. It, I can't, like, it, lean over the boat so it doesn't hit the boat? I that thought you were trying my... to keep yourself in a position to that would be... I mean, did you want... You didn't specify leaning over the boat. This is... Well, I would assume that if, if I'm at the top of the boat, that I could lean over, blow the horn, and get back underneath in one move. Yeah, you, you could. To where I don't harm the boat. Yeah, you could. Well, that's what I would like to do. All right. I don't want to get time, hit by Next arrows. time, please be that specific, because uh, you. I just thought you were standing and blowing the horn. Well, I'm not just gonna be like, "What does this do? Fucking blow it!" And then just look down at the boat. <laughs> it's like a just... little bit of damage to a part of the ship that's not even important. But Neil, you'll say that. Oh, guys, water's leaking. You're sinking. It's happening, guys. Fuck that. I think Neil. he's trying to say that he won't do that. That's what yeah. He's trying to say. Next time, be precise. Otherwise, I'm gonna interpret it myself. Okay. No. Doubt. All right. The tree makes a saving throw and the chain makes a saving throw let's look up their exact saves uh, <coughs> i'm gonna laugh if a tree makes a saving throw yeah thick wood against crushing blow is a 10 and iron i guess metal is a seven um, the tree splinters and cracks but does not completely uh, shatter apart. And the chain gets like knocked back and forth a bunch, but does not break either. They both barely pass their saving throws. All right. Translation. Mm. NP. NP. Um, Next round. Uh, yes. Uh, but also... Jeff, you haven't rolled yet. Sure. We're getting pretty close to break time as well. Should we take break here? Um... Yeah, we can take a break right here if you'd like. This is a nice break. And yeah, then it does nothing. It just hits the tree, and the tree's like, ah, that took on. <laughs> <laughs> or right. the tree can we loses some your part. next horn of blast. We can do one more round, and then we'll break right before I roll the saving throws. No, <laughs> Neil, I already know what happens if we use this horn multiple times in one day. I'm not killing Zanzel. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, no, let's just take a break here. He blew the magical super mega weapon, guys. It didn't quite work, but it fucked the boat a little bit. It See did. You guys no, no, it didn't fuck the, the boat. boat. It took sure. some bark off the tree, though, like a nice, yeah. dusty, windy the breeze. The tree splintered. Does Neil's face, like, tree. carve into the tree? Is that what this horn actually does? <laughs> is, is the tree splintering like a leg spasming, like in the same ballpark, kind of? <laughs> About the JP, same. let's go to break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, guys. We're going to take a three-minute break. We'll see you guys for hour two right after this. <laughs> 